hello wordpress people so in this video we are going to learn how we can add multiple blocks in a single plugin so if you are new to this video and you don't know how to create Gutenberg blocks then I have created this series so I would suggest to watch this series first so that you know how to create Gutenberg block and then come back again on this video and if you know what you are doing then just keep continue watching this video so uh, basically uh, in the pre in this series uh, we saw that uh, we were able to add only one block per plugin but that's not the case we can add multiple blocks in a single plugin so that is what we are going to learn in this video so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so here this is my local WordPress setup and this is the tutorial which we are going to follow we followed this tutorial in our previous series as well so this is the command by which we can create our custom block and this is the your this is our plugin slug so I'm then I'm just gonna copy this command and here is my WordPress repo let's get rid of this page I will go to plugins folder I will open terminal and I will run the command and here I will give our uh, plugins slug so let's say bunty wp blocks so it will take a while to create a plugin so let's wait for the plugin and then we will add multiple blocks a few moments later okay after a few minutes our plugin is ready so our plugin slug was bentwb blocks and if you can see in the plugins our plugin is here bentwp blocks so uh, let me zoom in a bit okay so this is terminal okay and let's go inside bentwp blocks and uh, here you see that we have this src folder and in the src folder we have our block related data so this is a uh, one block uh, created with this plugin so first let's activate this plugin and we will confirm our block is there or not so i will go to plugins and refresh it and we will check so here it is been TWP blocks let's activate it and then uh, we will try to search this block name inside post adding the so plugin is activated now let's add a post and let's search bntwp so we have this bntwp blocks over here now this is a one block now 
what if you want to add another one how do we do that so it is very simple so in the src folder create a new folder and give the name of that folder based on your block name so i would say uh, i would create a new folder called uh, b block one and i will create okay first of all i will add all of this file files uh, from src folder to b block one okay all files are moved to b block one now i will duplicate this folder so how do we do that copy paste sorry about that so okay it's already there why it is not displaying here okay it is displaying sorry about that guys so let me get rid of this and i would say this b block uh, let's say a and b so i will say b b block b b block a so this is now um th this is the step we need to do that's it uh, now we will make some adjustments based on our folder name so here i will say the name like 20 wp block a oh, sorry we are in b folder i will add slug over here like this um everything else text domain let's change it to b everything else remains the same just let me add some identifier over here so this is bb example and then um yeah, i think that's it uh similarly i will add i will open the b block a and make changes according to that and uh, once you do this uh, inside this we have to run this command npm start so that it will create build based on our multiple blocks so let's wait for this npm start command so as you can see it generated this um, two folders inside build so it should be fine now let me uh, refresh this page and let's see if our two different blocks are there or not so it should be this block uh, wp blocks a and another should be wp blocks b okay so now let's try to add search sorry wp Okay, something is wrong. Let's see. Sorry. Okay, there is no block there. 
um so we made a mistake somewhere maybe this lug should be different uh, let's try to match with our our folder name so b block and do the same for this b block and now let's try to refresh this okay um something is wrong um let's see what the problem oh yeah so sorry not this let me revert back this sorry when twb blocks a and then twb blocks b okay once we do this after npm uh, command uh, we have to open our plugins main file over here and here we see that we have this two uh, we have this function register block type and it targets to build folder but as we have two different folders over here so we have to write down something like this so we have to target our subfolder as well so i'm gonna add this and similarly I'm gonna target to our subfolder B as well. Okay, now <clears throat> okay, now it should be fine. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now let's try to search. As you can see, now we have our both blocks displaying inside this suggestions let's add one by one as you can see this is uh, block a and this is block b so yeah this is how we can add multiple blocks inside a single plugin and this is the video guys this is how you can add your blocks and yeah if you want to make your own block and i would suggest to watch this playlist uh, link is given into the description section and this started with create block link is also there inside the description section so if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section jai somnath har har mahadev